What's up guys, Coach Alex here with Physique Development and today we are going to be educating on the Dumbbell Preacher Curl. Before we get into the exercise, I would love for you to head down here, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite bicep exercise is, subscribe to the channel and give us a nice little thumbs up. Thank you. All right, so with this movement, this is how we get big and juicy biceps, truly. This is an exercise that is common and very simple uh, to perform, but does raise a higher injury risk when at the bottom of the exercise, and I'm gonna take you through that. So, when we look at a preacher curl, this is a very fancy, very nice bench from Prime Fitness. This is just the Prime adjustable bench with the attached arms. Here is what you're going to see in your gym, whether it be a standing or a seated preacher curl that you're able to use an easy bar or dumbbells in. Now, when we are getting set up for this exercise and, and the main goal within the preacher curl is to have support for the upper arm so that you're able to generate more force with the bicep, utilizing more load. I mean, we love to have that. We love the progressive overload aspect of things. And so this is an exercise that allows for us to do that. So when we're getting set up, we want to have that support for the upper arm. This does not mean that our armpit has to be hanging on here and we're just hanging out on top of it. All we need is just support of the upper arm as a whole and allow for us to have full contact with that backside of the upper arm. Now, as we're curling, what we're going to do is maintain that tension or contact with the pad as we're curling. We don't want to allow for the upper arm to kind of like come off the pad or use our shoulder to, to, to curl up necessarily. We wanna drive that upper arm hard into the pad and then continue to drive the forearm into our bicep. Now, as I pick up the weight here, one thing, and I, I had, I'd spoken a little bit about the injury aspect of this exercise. You guys may have seen some of the gym fails. Um, we're gonna put something up on the screen here. Close your eyes if you're a little squeamish because bicep tears are very common in this exercise. So with this, we wanna be very cautious as we get to the bottom 25 or, or, or the bottom fourth of this exercise and be very cautious with our ability to extend at the elbow. Be very slow, be very cautious because what happens is that individuals start to have higher fatigue and then they try to jerk it out of that bottom position and that's where the injury really occurs. So we wanna be cautious here, be slow and methodical, drive that upper arm into the pad and as we're curling, really drive that forearm into the bicep to create a full contraction. Now, as I put this down, the last thing that I wanna to touch on as we get to that top position is that we don't wanna spend a whole lot of time here because now the joints are in alignment and we're not really getting a whole lot of tension to the muscle that we're trying to train. It's just that the weight is standing here. So we wanna be uh, spending as minimal amount of time at the top and spending a lot of our time between the ranges of at the bottom and through here and then spending as minimal time here and being very quick coming down. So I've talked super fast. I'm gonna go through a couple of reps here so you guys can see uh, me perform and maybe check out how awesome my biceps are or tell me how small they are, one or the other. And that is the Dumbbell Preacher Curl. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you're gonna love this video and love this video. And if you want more from us, check out our website at physiquedevelopment.com.